Okay, there's the beginning of the vault notes and the essential question that needs to be answered. You will need calculators in class. This is, we're going to do this after test day. I'm only making this video because we probably will go over this in, task, in class very quick. So I want you to be able to back check the stuff you hear in class with the video. But there's the homework assignment right there for 3.3. Okay, there's the beginning of the vault notes. Let's take a look at the rest of the vault notes. Okay. How can we show equivalence between expressions with rational exponents? Okay, that is the big thing we're trying to show equivalence, like the last question on task. This resurfaces the idea of fractional exponents, and now we're putting them in terms of money, and everybody is interested in money. So remember this, always, always, always remember this. Some base to a 1 over n power, the index becomes the denominator, and vice versa. It's huge. That's one of the rules of exponents. Here are the other rules written out for you, and I will explain in class. These are, you know, the numbers themselves, the letters take place, could be a number or a variable, but the rule remains the same. Okay? And we're going to use all these rules in the ready, set, and go. So the ready is stretching out your understanding of these rules by writing equivalent expressions. For instance, 2 to the 5th using any of these rules over here, I could write it these three different ways. Product rule, quotient rule, negative exponent rule. Okay, So the ready problems, they want you to write, given one form, write it in two different ways, listed like they have there for ready. And you create your own for 7 through 11. All right, The set problems, it's more practice simplifying with exponents. Now this one's going to twist your brain up if you're not using these these rules to simplify things and see if they all are the same thing. Here's a hint. 15 is 5 times 3, isn't it? And 50 is 25 times 2. That might help. Let's take a look at those set problems. You need to see if each one for number 14, like, are these three the same? Are they equivalent? Can you simplify them to be the same thing? Same thing with 15. Are those three the same thing? Can you simplify them? Lastly, on the go, it's even more, more, more practice simplifying using these rules of exponents. And if you can simplify all those down to a, a more simplified form. So you're going to get really good with exponents after 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3.